The Ukrainians may be able to build on their success at targeting Russian armor on the ground by employing even deadlier yet much smaller UAVs. Last week, the White House announced that an additional 100 tactical unmanned aerial systems were part of a new $800 million weapons package bound for the besieged nation. The small, switchblade drones differ from the Bayraktar TB2 or even the US military's long-range Predator drones as they are not armed with a rocket. Rather the switchblade can loiter overhead like a traditional drone but then use GPS to guide itself like a missile straight into the target where it can detonate its payload. According to the U.S. Marine Corps, top general, the latest package of U.S. security assistance to Ukraine includes drones that are a pretty powerful tool for troops on the ground. Known as loitering munitions, these UAVs are capable of staying in the air. At the same time, they search for a target, and some are capable of returning to base in the case of unsuccessful target identification. While they operate in a similar way to unmanned combat aerial vehicles or UCAVs, their self-destructive capabilities are what set them apart. Ukraine has been using Turkish TB2 UAVs, but so far has not employed loitering munitions, explained William Davies, an associate defense analyst at international analytics firm GlobalData. Alongside stingers and javelins and other weapons, the US is sending Ukraine 100 switchblade tactical drones, a kind of loitering munition, also called, kamikaze drones, designed to find and destroy targets on one-way missions. These drones give infantrymen, the power of an air wing in your hands, Marine Corps Commandant General David Berger said at the McAleese and Associates Defense Conference in Washington, D.C., on March 9. This is the first time the infantry on the ground can strike targets beyond the range of their organic mortars, and, artillery with precision, Berger said of loitering munitions. The Switchblade 300, which carries a small munition designed to take out infantry and artillery, has been used by U.S. Special Operations Command for about a decade. In September, the command awarded Aerovironment a $20 million contract for the Switchblade 600, which carries a larger explosive charge designed to take out tanks and armored targets. Marines have also used the Switchblade for about a decade, adopting it so small units could take out soft targets without calling in airstrikes. Berger has said loitering munitions make the core lighter and faster, and are a top priority as the service tries to build a force better suited for a potential conflict with China. In 2021, the Corps listed loitering drones like the Switchblade as its number one acquisition priority. In Berger's Force Design 2030 plan, also released last year, the service outlined the two kinds of drones it wants one capable of loitering for up to 90 minutes and of swarming, with other drones and another drone that can be launched from the Corps' light-armored reconnaissance vehicle or a similar vehicle. The Corps has already awarded a contract for the vehicle-mounted version as part of its Organic Precision Fires mounted program. The Organic Precision Fires Infantry Light program would give infantry a similar capability. We have two different programs so far that we're experimenting with. We'll see how they go, both individual and mounted. These things so far are powerful, Berger said at the conference.